we're going to real quickly demonstrate Form Publisher. Form Publisher is kind of like Autocrat, and it will um, generate documents from the information that you have submitted in a Google Form. Autocrat works, works within your spreadsheet, and Form Publisher works within the Google Form. It's just a new feature. Google, Form did not, Google Forms did not always have um, add-ons, and now they do. So I'm going to show you where you would find your add-ons. And you're going to go here to this little three buttons, and you're going to find add-ons. And when you go into add-ons, you notice it's right here. And mine says manage, but you just look for one that you have not added, and you'll see free. So just add free. And then to find your form or your add-on, you just go here, and here is form publisher. I'm just going to go ahead and get started with it. Now, it does help. You already have your form created, and I already have my template created. So here's my template. Notice that I have these double tags here. Within the tags, I have exactly the same information from my form. So, and it has to be worded the same. So if it says teacher email, I did not include teacher email address in this because I didn't think that was necessary. But if I, if this is what I, I want, whatever information that comes in all these, that's what I want here. So this information will end up going into the form, whatever it shows up here in this short answer area. So what we're going to do is we're going to say yes, we've already created a Google Doc template. We're going to select and I want the, um, hmm, I think it is this one. Does not help when you have extra, let me see. Yeah, I think it's this one. Okay. So, it does match my markers. And I'm going to hit next. Do you already have a drive folder to put in? Um, you know what? No, I do not want to create one. And let's go ahead and tell them what we want to call it. And we want to say walk through. And I'm not worried about the increment. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit next again. Okay, so at this point, I have to decide. If I, if I have an email collaborator, I can do this. If I do not have an email collaborator, but I want the teacher to have something, um, a copy of this, kind of like a receipt from me coming into their classroom, I would just hit add. And I would say, okay, I want them to have a PDF for the recipients. This is where I would say, in the double tags, teacher email address. Just like it was here. And then I'm going to go down here and hit done again. And it's going to tell me my form is ready. And now I'm going to try it. I'm going to show you what this looks like. So we're going to go here. And we're going to say today's date. Put my name. I don't use mine because I do need to use my email address to demonstrate this. I guess I could put sample teacher. We'll just say we're grade 8. And we'll just say. And then we're going to hit submit. So when we go into the form, go back to it, I'm going to go here and I see, you see my response. And just like any Google form, you can go and look at your responses or you can go to the spreadsheet and create one for it. Here's my spreadsheet. The form publisher is going to work and, and it, what's going to happen is I'm going to have a document show up, a link show up over here. It's going to show up in this little area. Also, what I'm going to have is this. I'm going to go back and notice I have an email. And let's take a look at this email. And look what's happened here. So, this was sent to me because it was about me and it has exactly the information I put in. Now, you may not choose to go ahead and send one to your teachers, but if you do, you can do that. Or it may be that you want that to go into your drive first. And we're going to go find that. I think I called it walkthrough. Go down here and find my so walkthrough folder. That's not the right one. Wherever it went, it's somewhere in there. Dun, dun, dun. I think it's this one. I just create it. And then you will have a document in there. Of course, I would 
I should have called it something different. But anyway, whatever the document is, at that point, if you want to share it through the traditional Google Forms thing, you could. So that is Form Publisher. Uh, the naming conventions, I messed up on that. But you get the idea, and it's an easy tool to use.